Hi, I'm Alex J. I'm going to read you a story called Ruby Valentine and the Sweet Surprise. Are you ready to listen? Okay, I'm going to read you the story. Ruby Valentine and the Sweet Surprise. At the Heartland Railway Station, Ruby hugged Lovebird goodbye. She said she's just be gone a day. But what she didn't say was why. Why? Ruby Valentine board a train and took a trip into the city. When she returned to Heartland, she brought home a baby kitty. He was soft and sweet and fluffy, a precious little ball of fur. I'll name you Sweetie Pie, said Ruby, and the cat began to purr. Ruby loved her little sweet pie, Sweetie Pie. She taught him how to play. She set out bowls of milk. He grew bigger by the day. Cute and cuddly in his new home, he brought Ruby lots of joy. But not everyone was enamored with this little fleeing boy. Lovebird was not happy. This was more than she could bear. Bird, Lovebirds missed the good old days when, she, when Ruby were with just her. Week after day, after week, Lovebird watched the new apple of Ruby's eye, and she could not help but think that darn cat sweet pie. Lovebird wanted to show Ruby she was, she was her number one pet. She wanted to do something special, something Ruby would never forget. So as Ruby's favorite day drew close. Lovebird thought and plotted. <clears throat> she planned Valentine's to perfection. Her teeth were crossed. Here is where dotted. Here's where dotted was. When Valentine's Day arrived. Pets in tight. I'm going to town to for supplies. Supplies. We'll celebrate tonight. As soon as Ruby left, Lovebird put her plan in action, but she had not expected Sweetie Pie's reaction. When Lovebird baked the cake and iced into perfection, Sweetie Pie conducted a much faster connection. When Lovebird hugs steamers and hears a lot of wool, Sweetie Pie flung contents in every room down the halls. And Lovebird arranged flowers in the hall of the day. Sweetie Pie brought in a Lovebird bouquet. When Ruby returned home, she was struck at what she saw. A mess was every cover. Her pets locked in a brawl. She dropped her bags of goodies and cried out in dismay. Can someone please explain what happened while I was away? Both pets talked at once, telling that they tried to do that when Ruby told them. There is room in my heart for two. Then she helped them clean and dust. They used mop and rag and broom. They squirreled every corner. They tidied every room. They took a nice long bath. They scrubbed the day away. Ruby set out all her goodies. For a Valentine buffet. Oh, I don't know why my.
Ruby said, surprise! There's still more to celebrate. We're going to watch a movie. You two get to stay up late. The Ruby love for the sweetie pie all snuck up in the chair. They had to squish together, but no one seemed to care. When the movie ended, both pets looked sad and down. Valentine's Day is over. They both said with a frown. The Rube, Ruby hugged her pets and said, There's something we have plenty of. This Valentine's Day is over, but we'll never run out of heart. Okay, this is the end of the story. And thank you for listening to my story. Ahem. Bye.